Welcome to Qt Learning Channel. In this lecture, we will discuss the boiler water and steam condensate corrosion. Description of damage. General corrosion and pitting in the boiler system and condensate return system as shown in figure. It is primarily the result of dissolved oxygen and or carbon dioxide, which could lead to oxygen pitting corrosion and carbonic acid corrosion, respectively. Flow accelerated corrosion in these systems may occur either as general wall thinning corrosion or localized corrosion at high velocity high turbulence or change of flow direction locations. Affected materials Carbon steel and low alloy steels Critical factors The critical factors are Concentration of dissolved gas oxygen and or carbon dioxide, pH, temperature quality of the feed water, and the specific feed water treating system. The most critical temperature for flow accelerated corrosion is 300 degrees Fahrenheit, and it decreases with increasing pH. Oxygen pitting can occur, if the deaeration and oxygen scavenging treatment are not working correctly. Corrosion protection in the boiler is accomplished by laying down and continuously maintaining a layer of protective magnetite. Affected units or equipment Boiler water treatment system condensate return system as well as in process unit reboilers and associated piping threaded connections appearance or morphology of damage corrosion from oxygen is normally a pitting type damage carbon dioxide corrosion is normally smooth but it can also cause grooving, jagged fir tree pattern, of the pipe wall. Prevention, Mitigation Boiler water needs to be blown down, to control the concentration of, solids and non-condensable gases. Proper deaerator operation, and accurately controlled scavenger, chemical addition, are important. Water treatment, sampling, and analysis, are the common methods used to ensure integrity and prevent boiler water and condensate corrosion. The pH, temperature, and oxygen concentration are the main parameters that can affect the potential for flow accelerated corrosion. Boiler feed water pH from 9.2 to 9.6 is often recommended. Upgrading the material to chromium molybdenum steel usually solves the problem. Inspection and monitoring Monitoring the appropriate parameters can indicate whether the treatment program is performing satisfactorily. Vacuum testing can be used to check for air ingress into the condenser hose well. UT and RT methods can be used to monitor for pipe wall thinning. Related mechanisms CO2 corrosion, corrosion fatigue, erosion, 
erosion corrosion oxygenated water corrosion Ammonia stress corrosion cracking of copper alloys. Summary Description General corrosion and pitting in the boiler system and condensate return system. Corrosion from oxygen tends to be a pitting type damage. Carbon dioxide corrosion tends to be a smooth grooving, jagged fir tree pattern of the pipe wall. Flow accelerated corrosion in these systems may occur either as general wall thinning corrosion or localized corrosion. Temperature range Operation temperature The most critical temperature for Flow accelerated corrosion is 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Affected metallurgy. Carbon steel and low alloy steels. Prevention. Water treatment, sampling, and analysis. Boiler water needs to be blown down. To mitigate flow accelerated corrosion, BFW pH from 9.2 to 9.6 and Upgrading the material to chromium molybdenum steel Inspection methods Monitoring the appropriate parameters, vacuum testing, UT, and RT methods Practice time Question number one Boiler water and steam condensate corrosion in condensate return line systems is usually the result of Answer is A Question number 2 Boiler water and steam condensate corrosion due to CO2 looks like Answer is B. This lecture is prepared by Samir Saad and this is his profile. Thanks a lot for watching and please waiting us for the next lecture.